plug. Friday night? It's Friday night, baby. It's dark. Dark night. I can't say dark. 30, can <laughs> No. Cooking with Kip after dark. I know, dude. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, baby. Valentine weekend. And I'm glad y'all hanging out with us. Uh, we're going to get right into cooking. We're not going to mess around. We got stuff to do, right? Y'all got stuff to do. We got stuff to do. And uh, we're going to conversate a little bit while we cook. Is that cool? That's cool. I'm having a little... Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> Just some regular old cheap Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Patricia Wallace. Hello, Shirley Turner. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Tanya Wabwar is in the house. Hello, Darlene George. Thank you for joining. Hello. So, go ahead. I'm sorry. Karen Edmonds from Detroit. Thank you for joining. Hello, Olivia Taylor. Um, Lisa Shiflay Goodman is on. Denise Williams, thank you all for joining. Uh huh. <laughs> Caroline Perry Gooch, Sheriff A. Williams Davis. Hello, Shazelle Harris Hellman. Um, what are we cooking tonight, babe? What are we cooking tonight? I'm glad you asked. We are doing, uh, this is Valentine weekend. I figured it'd be great to do something with lobster. But you know, I gotta be a little different. Um, I decided to do something called lobster and Napoleon. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use some puff pastry. Of course, I'm gonna use lobster. And I'll make a little cool cream sauce. Sounds it's good. It's gonna be more than a sauce because I'm gonna put some cream cheese in it, so it's gonna have to be a little thickness to it. Okay. And, uh, something different. Something a little different. So we're gonna play around it. In fact. Um, I've never made this dish. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> never made it. Uh, it came into my mind. In your spirit. In my spirit, huh? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and usually I take it on a test run if it's something new I'm working on. I'm not taking it on. I didn't take it on a test run, so y'all got to roll with me tonight. We rolling with yeah, you, babe. Yeah, so, uh, but I want to make something a little sexy. All right. Yeah, and I feel like this dish would be sexy if I do it right. Okay. We, we're so going to help gonna, you do gonna, it right. I'm going to try to do it right. Okay. Hello, Sister Gwendolyn Bacon Jones. Uh, hello, Sister Rosalind Garrison. Thank you for the stars, Gary Craig. Welcome to Cooking with Kip After Dark. Hello, Katrina Riley, Marilyn Brown, Darlene George. I made the dill pilka yesterday. It was delicious. All right. Thank yes. You. Hello, Annie Williams, Florine Grady. It's cold. Yes, it's it's Ooh, cold baby. here. It's cold outside. Yeah. Yes. So Hello, Brenda Kareem. Marilyn Franklin. We are doing well on this Friday evening. Hello, Makita Foster. Thank y'all for joining. <laughs> yes. So, if you didn't hear, hello. Oh, I did. I said hello. Tamis Rolak is in the house. Hey, sis. Hey, sister and brother. We miss y'all. Sheila, Sheila Miller from Homa, Louisiana. So again, just in case you missed it, we're doing a dish called lobster Napoleon. Yes. Kind of created in my mind. Uh, Napoleon dishes are usually puff pastry, some type of cream filling, and it's usually three layers. So I'm using puff pastry. I'm making a like a cream type filling, and uh, I'm using lobster. Um, I got some tarragon. Some garlic, some lemon, some tomatoes, some celery, some onion. And uh, I was playing around with some uh, caviar this week. So why not finish it off with some caviar? All and, right. <laughs> and I don't have the $500 caviar. No, I got the stove ball stuff from the corner store. <laughs> I, I, I think it's um, it's captivating to look at because of the red. Okay. Yeah. So here's what I need to do. I need yes. to get this puff pastry working. Okay. Okay. So I already got cleaned up. Um, I'm at an awkward angle for you, baby. Am I? No, you're good. Well, this is the surface for the puff pastry. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and I make puff pastry from time to time, but uh, busy week and it takes some work to get some puff pastry together. So uh, we bought some. I bought some. All right. 
you know, store bought. And actually, it's pretty good itself. I, you know, it's not bad at all. Um, but it's the joy of making puff pastry fresh. It's pretty cool as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, key really is keeping it cool, letting it rest. Of course, if it's store bought. It's rested. It's rested. <laughs> it's, been, it's been sitting in the store, but you can't let it get hot. Because it'll be more difficult, yeah, to, work be difficult to work with. And you can use puff pastry in sweet dishes as well as savory that dishes. That is correct. Um, you made a um, pot pie recently, and you used puff pastry That's as right. your crust. That's correct. Gary Craig says, I'm campaigning for y'all a cooking show on somebody's network. Well, thank brother, you, brother. <laughs> hey, I will forever thank you if it happens. And, uh, and, and, and I see that? It's about to get too warm on me. It's about to get too That's warm right. that quick. Uh -huh, but I'm going to roll it out. Hello, Annie Williams from Los Angeles. Hello, um, All right, let's Marilyn get, Franklin. Let's get this on the board here. Lisa and Joan Life Walden is in the house. Hey, Lisa? How you doing? Hello, Jeanette Mayo. So get a little flour on it. You can't overflower puff pastry when you're making it. Uh, we won't get into details of that tonight. But when you use uh, store bought. Well, you if already all the the major process is already done. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not rolling this out a lot. Okay. Because um, I'm not using a lot. I only need like six pieces. Okay. So I got a little ring mold here. I'm just gonna cut out some rings. So you see that it didn't take long, huh? When you mm -mm. buy some store bought stuff, all I did is <laughs> roll it right quick, cut out meal like six rounds. If you're just joining, we're making lobster Napoleon. It's gonna be a layered lobster dish with the cream sauce. So, I'm excited. I'm gonna put this in some plastic wrap, back in some plastic wrap. And we'll use that and for we gonna, another day. We're we gonna use that. <laughs> And Hello, Greta Meekins. Hello, Jeanette Mayo, Brenda Simmons. Hi, Jenny Maston, Vanessa Edwards, Rosa Blair's in the house. Shirley Johnson Williams, Elder R.T. Leak. Hello, Diamond Dozen. Um, Florence Ellison, Lisa Clark, Linda Frank. Thank y'all so much for joining us on this Friday night. Hello, Bruce Jones, Deanna Salisbury, Christy Smith, Vanessa Edwards. All right. Thank y'all so much. Yes, that was just one sheet out of the box. I think the Don't. box comes with two. That's correct. Yes. I'm gonna come over here, Spitty. Okay. Uh, I'll follow you. I'm just gonna put some parchment paper down. And uh, I got my oven on about four, 400 degrees. Thank you for sharing, Belinda Florence. Hello, the Quincy going. I'm going to brush this with a little egg wash. Basically, it's one egg. And I used about a teaspoon and a half of water and whipped it up. It's going to give it that golden, pretty color. This is puff pastry if y'all are just joining. We got a, quite a few people just joining. We're going to make um, lobster Napoleon tonight. Something new. Hello, Laura Wilson. Thank you. She says she enjoyed Wine Down Wednesday this week. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I enjoyed it too. Mm -hmm. I always enjoy winding down. Hello, Betty Robinson from Toledo, Ohio. And this is going to give it that good brown, pretty shiny color. Just an egg wash. Yeah. I probably could have made these out of four inch rounds, you know that? Well, we here now. Yeah, we here now. We, we, we working on the spirit. We in the, <laughs> we in the game now, so we're going to roll with it. Hello, Christy Smith from Nebraska. So, what I would say about th this dish here mm -hmm. that I'm making, it's probably a first course. Okay. It's, uh, you know, that opening opening course to a great meal. Mm -hmm. This would be a good choice. But some are going to have it. Okay. We're going to build probably about 10 minutes. All right. We're going to put a time on just in case. Yes. I get caught up in the moment. All so, right. that's done. Um, bread is out of the way, so now we're going to uh, wash that right quick. Hello, Karen T. Short. Um, Kimberly May Metz Brown from New York. Thank y'all for joining. Hello from Lancaster, Texas. Michelle Williams. Is this Mich Michelle or Michelle? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, poach the lobster. So I'm going to um, I'm going to create a 
water, and butter emulsion. I got about three tablespoons of water. Okay. We're gonna heat that up. And then I'm gonna slowly add some, some butter into that so we can emulsify it so it can become one. And once I get that done, uh, I'm gonna put the, lo uh, the lobster in there. Poaching is gonna make it uh, more succulent because when you cook, lobster meat can be so tedious. Uh, cook it too long, you got rubber. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you don't cook it long enough, you got some sushi. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. <laughs> Unless you want sushi. Mm -hmm. um, so by poaching it, I'm going to cook it real slow. I'm not going to boil it. I'm just going to have a good warm temperature of rolling water. And, and with that emulsification of water and butter, it's going to cook it, but it's going to make it very succulent. Succulent. I like the way you say that, babe. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, la, la, la. All right, so I'm going to get that going. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and cut my butter up into little packs. I call them. I'm going to say hi to a few more people. Hello, Valerie Roberts. I'm sending you hugs, love, and kisses, and Callie um, while you're out there doing the hard work. What Diana I'm doing Brown. Right now, by the way, while I'm cutting this, I'm dulling my knife, people. So don't do what I'm doing. Of course, I'll sharpen it. Cutting your knife on the surfaces like this, on like plates. plates and all that, that dulls your knife. Okay. Just a FYI. Just but I know how to sharpen them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I have I have a salted butter and unsalted butter. And I did that just for balance. Okay. I almost, I almost was going to go with salted all the way. But uh, I decided to. Um, and the reason why I'm cutting in these little patties to emulsify while I whip this in, if you add the butter all at once, it will... Oil and water, as we know, mm -hmm. separates. Mm -hmm. But the magic of science, if you slowly add it in in slow amounts, my water's about to get there, uh, in slow amounts, and, and whisk it in and shake it the right way, they become one. Okay. They become a marriage. A marriage. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to get this going. All right. Hello, Yolanda Thomas. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this in. But you got to slowly put it in one at a time. You know what? What's that? I probably should stay with that other pot I had. Okay. You want to switch or yeah, we too I, far in the I'm game? Gonna, no, I'm not too far in the game. All right. I'm going to say, hey, I'm, we're going to talk amongst ourselves. <laughs> Andrew Baker. Hello. People getting old. He said people getting old and need timers. Love you, brother. <laughs> Hello. Gloria Sanders from Indiana. Hello, Yolanda Clewis. Um, John Douglas Jr. Thank you so much. Hello, Kip and your beautiful wife. I want steak and lobster. Yeah. <laughs> Evelyn Brown is in the house. Cheryl Davis, Donna Woods from Fort Worth, Texas. So should I, so should for a hot butter woman. I'm thinking he said that's what he should go for, a hot butter woman. Mm -hmm. All right, Drew. <laughs> yes. He's on it again, huh? Hello, Bridget Ellis. You hid it from yourself. Hello, Tony Figueroa. Thank y'all for joining. Right. Hello, Shirley Reza Ware. Let's take a look at these lobster tails that he will be poaching in just a short time. Well, that's the one I want, but that's all right. Okay. You want to come back this way? Yes. We're going to switch it up. I'm going to add just a little bit more water so I can make this work. Okay. Um, if you're just joining, we're doing um, lobster Napoleon. Uh, we've got some puff pastry in the oven. Butter makes everything better, said Natasha Snowden. Yes, it does. Yeah. Bobby Walton, hey. Um, and he's going to stack it up. Poached lobster with some um, puff pastry and a mm -hmm. cream sauce. So I'm excited. This is his first time making it. Yeah, it's one of my own little creations here. So he's adding water in the pot. He's going to emulsify the butter with the water. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna slowly get that in. And, uh, Evelyn Brown said, um, "Did we see the yellow lobster they found in Maine?" No. no, I did not see that. 
I That's have a rare to, breed. Yeah, I have to look that one up. Okay, so we got that going there. Let me get that all mixed up. So he, this is the emulsification process to mix the water with the butter so it become one instead of separating. There we go. Adding the butter slowly. And this is gonna be his poaching liquid. That's that for my, for my lobster. For his lobster tails. And this pot will work because you only have the two tails, right? Yes, I'm just using for the tail meat for that. Yeah. yeah. I wanted it a little smaller and deeper um, so I wouldn't have to use as much liquid so it would go all the way down here. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> Drew. Drew's on the crown tonight. He on it. <laughs> How you gonna say something? Ask me not to say it out loud, brother. <laughs> Is it cut off time for you? <laughs> it's Friday night, huh? It's Friday night. Hey, that's what he's supposed to do on Friday night. <laughs> so he wind down after dark. So, I'm a so it's coming together. You can see that water in the butter. And uh, it's just coming together. So this would be a different process if we heated up the water and just added the butter. But it would separate. It, it would separate. Lot of, lot of, right. The, the butter would end up just sitting on the top. Yes, we have wine and music going, Tony. We started off with a little bit of uh, Carl Thomas. We're sipping on some Chardonnay on this lovely Friday yes, night. Yeah. Taking yeah. it easy. You see how my... Uh, Puff pastry. It's puffing. It's puffing. <laughs> <laughs> He said, thank you, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're getting it going. And this is going to do wonders for the taste of the lobster, too. I'm, I, it won't boil. I'm going to bring it down if it starts to boil. <laughs> Drew, they answering the question for you, brother, without me saying it out loud. <laughs> Somebody's answering Drew's yes. question. <laughs> uh, All right. So it's a slow process. But it's, a, you know, I think cooking, you know, it's one of those things, you know, to make things ready. Watch yourself, I'm going to chop it up. Okay. Uh, to, to, you know, to enhance flavors and to do things, sometimes you have to have some patience. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and this part of it, you know, uh, the patience of putting things together and taking your time, not rushing perfection. <laughs> Why is this question keep popping what up? What question is it, baby? Is there anything such as black butter? I don't know where that come from. Lisa Snee, hello from I Memphis. I don't know what you think about black butter. Andrew I asked it first. I don't say it don't exist, but I don't know. Anything. Thank you, Evelyn Page. She says you are so good at commentary. You two make a great team. Thank you so much. Okay, so the butter is coming together with that water. I might add just a little bit more water because I want the lobster to go down into. Actually, I'm taking the lobster out of the shell in just a moment. I got it, the lobster resting on some ice. <laughs> Gary Craig said, what is truffle butter? Maybe that. Is it black? Um, well, tr you can have truffles, white truffles and black truffles. So if you combine the two, mm -hmm. you can get some black truffle butter. Well, there so, you go, dude. There you go. <laughs> Bethany Davis says she's cracking up. Well, there you go. We're going to have to research that. Maybe we use some black butter. That truffle is quite expensive, so I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, with the truffle, that might have been good. The truffle butter, the lobster, and the caviar, man. Oh, y'all y'all making his... would have been on point, wouldn't Oh, it? oh, y'all widen, widen his horizon. Okay, see how that's just coming together? I might add just a little bit more water to it <laughs> for that. Because I got some more butter. I know this is a lot of butter, y'all, but know. we're going to poach the lobster in it. Okay. So, everybody just use, calm I'm, down. I'm going to use that same lobster butter to uh, make your cream. To make my sauce. Yeah. Because I'm going to have that flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's Drew, still at it? Yes! <laughs> Drew, Drew's the star of the show tonight. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Anything. Andrew, please hush. That's Bethany Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Drew is cutting up. Where you gonna put it? 
I said, where you gonna put it? Over here? Yeah. Okay. Do it, cuz. That's Isabel Larry. Gary Craig said, take, take, take your cholesterol medication. Those are the puff pastries. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna put these over here. Wait. <laughs> it's all gonna come together in a little while. Yes. And I think the creaminess comes from the emulsification process, the whisking. Am I wrong in saying emulsifying is just adding air? I don't know emulsifying is bringing two things together. Okay. Yeah, you know, bringing in well, the process of. Yes. Okay. The, the whipping it is the emulsifying is bringing them together. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Denise Williams. We're gonna be layering that puff pastry with some poached lobster soon. And poaching this method, it, it shouldn't take long. I would imagine because uh, the liquid will be it's hot. It's probably gonna take me about eight minutes. Okay. Once I get the liquid hot. And of course, it won't take me long to put the sauce together. Okay. So the longest process is this. Is this. <laughs> and if you notice, if I, it was just water, if it was just, I mean, butter, it would have that little oily look, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that water gives it that creaminess effect. Okay. Yeah. All right. Without it's, it's not, the, you know, you know, it breaks separating. down, separating. Yeah. yeah. Gary Craig said, all right for the emulsification. Boy, y'all own one. <laughs> but you know what? It's Friday cooking with kids uh, after that's dark. That's how we so get down. This how we that's get how we down. come on at 9 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it. that's coming together. And let me just keep that at a low temperature. And while that's doing its thing, I think I'm good. Mm -hmm. I feel good about where we are. Babe. Do you remember what memories do you have of this album? We're playing um, Carl Thomas. Oh my goodness. What's the name of the album? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember that. Remember that I can't remember and I can't see. But anyway, my fondest memory of this album in the continuation of Wednesday night, um, we were in the kitchen one busy night and you started singing one of these songs. Okay. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Hello, PD Owens. Thank you for join joining. Give me a little bit more room. Okay. With the lobster. Let's turn this down a little bit. Get to it. Uh, I'm going to take it out of the shell. And there's many ways I can do this. I could have just used my kitchen shears. But I'm just going to push it out whole. I'm going to push it out whole and... Uh, Without cutting my hand. Okay, I'm about there. Because I want the lobster meat to be whole because of how I'm going to cut it later on. Okay. That, okay, we're about there. You'll be out of this shell in just a minute. Um, Bethany Davis, no, it's not emotional. I think it's the album right after that. Bethany knows something about that. Yeah, I think she's picking yeah. up what we're putting down, but. <laughs> Didn't kill us up. <laughs> All right, that's one tail out. Okay. Lola, what's the name of that album? Mm-hmm. So, he's not wasting a thing. Yeah. Or is that. No, nah, no, nah, I'm going to use that for stock. He's using that for <laughs> stock. We had this conversation the other night as well. Okay, so we get this other tail out. It looks like a lot more meat when you pull it out of the shell. Alright, about got it. Then we're going to start poaching the lobster. Okay. And uh, for that, we get the sauce going. So the puff pastry is out and ready. Mm -hmm. Several different components. As I said early, first time, I this kind of dish kind of... Huh? Let's talk yes. about Let's it. Let's yeah. talk about it. Yeah, that's, that's the name amazing. of the album. Thank you for the 500 stars, Tamis and brother. Uh, Shirley Turner said Red Lobster. Who? Thank, <laughs> thank you, sis. That's right. <laughs> All right. Shells are in there. We're going to use that. 
Wash my hands up now, guys, for a second. I'm going to have to wash them a couple of times, probably. Mm-hmm. This is that poaching liquid, the butter I, I and the water. It's, it's still looking smooth. Still looking smooth? Yes. All right, cool. All right, lobster's good. I'm, right now, I'm just checking to make sure there's no shells on it. It was the last time I Checking for the vein, there's nothing there. So what I'm gonna do, Okay. Let it push here and then I'll flip it over in a little while. Okay. Okay, so lobster's in, it's cooking. Lobster's in Gently and it's cooking. cooking. Wash up one more time. And remember guys, he said he didn't want to hard boil it. It's just a poaching, yes. so it'll sit and simmer. Hello, Denise Yates. Hello, beautiful couple and everyone. Lobster. I love crab myself, but looks good. <laughs> Gary Craig said, Lord, Lord. <laughs> so you're really going to get, with this, the way that I'm doing it, mm -hmm. you're going to get a very tender texture, not rubbery at all, mm -hmm. and it's all lobster meat. Mm. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this knife and cutting board. Okay. Wipe my little table down. I don't know. Okay. Here are the puff pastry the rounds. rounds that he cut out. Thank you, Teresa Hall. Couple goals. Teresa from Oklahoma. Love watching you too. Thank you so much. Right. Stephanie Harmon says she loves lobster. Get rid of that. I that. So you're about to boil the um, stock now, or is no. it something you're going to use? I'm getting ready to get my herbs and vegetables together okay thank you michelle and cooper from joining working on a sauce a sauce yeah you put together these sauces fairly quickly and they are so flavorful yeah. hey. tammy says she like a rubbery lobster she like a rubbery lobster <laughs> sis <Damn it. laughs> you don't want a tender piece of lobster <laughs> you want a tough rubbery lobster that's what you're telling me <laughs> <laughs> we got you, sis. <laughs> yes, Lady D. Well, you haven't had my lobster. Well, you have had my lobster. Yes, yeah, she done had the You haven't had this lobster, so. So, <laughs> you eat this one, Tammy, and you look at that. Oh, my goodness. I need this one all the time. Cook like this. Baby, something's happening in this pot. Yeah, turn it down a little bit. Okay. Mmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> Now, did you season the lobster at all? Nope. Nope. I, mean, I, I have salted butter, and of course, the lobster is going to have some flavor all by itself. And then yes. it's, it's going into the sauce, so I don't want to overdo it, over, overcook. Or... Thank you, Bridget Dunn. Delvin Sparrow is on. Hey, Delvin, how you doing? Gail Franks, hi. So we got the, uh, I'm going to add just a little bit more onion. Just a little bit, not much. And he's just chopping up vegetables for the sauce. The sauce yeah. Yes, gotta have a sauce. Okay. That should be enough. On yon. On yon. Yeah. Y'all see these beautiful tulips I got at work today? I'm gonna show them off. Watch yourself in the court, baby. Okay. Uh, uh, him. Okay. Right mm -hmm. I you to hit that. Thank you. Um, Denise Yates. Okay, see so this? Gonna, gonna roll that over a little bit. Let the, and it's cooking very slowly and gently. It is cooking because it's curling up. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Lola, I hear you. Hello, Phyllis Bowers Boyle. Hello, Pamela Hargrove. Um, okay, let's get this going. Denise Yates, see, that's why I don't care for lobster. How do you cook it so it doesn't taste rubbery, the texture? It's not going to be rubbery. It's not. <laughs> Rub, rub, rubbery lobster, a uh, uh, textured, uh, uh, or what you call it, uh, tough lobster, is overcooking, mm -hmm. and that's that's the thing that happens a lot of times. 
is uh, most people will overcook it. And it's like shrimp, you don't have to cook it forever. And the reason why I'm cooking those so slow um, is cooking it, and of course it's a whole lobster. If I had it in pieces, I could cook it even quick, quicker. Uh -huh. uh, but to make sure the temperature, and I'm cooking it to a temperature of about 145. Drew said, what size are, are the lobster tails? They're almost five ounces, Drew. They're about four and a half, almost five. So they're a decent size. Lady D said, overcooking is right. Yeah. Thank you, Evelyn Brown. Hello, Ernest Carter, cousin. Happy Valentine's to you as well. Leo Seal, Dagerman Porterfield. Lobster is huge. Good evening, Chef Kip and beautiful right. wife. Pamela Hargrove. Get, get some garlic. We're gonna get some onion. We're gonna get some celery. Um, Lenny Reeves, he's actually doing a method of poaching. So he's not gonna, how long would you cook these? He said. Uh, I was cooking it about eight minutes cause I'm gonna get, slowly get the inside done as well. So I'm kind of just flipping them around. If you notice that butter and that water mixture kind of looks like almost like a milk. Yes. Yeah. In the, here we go. Let's keep that working. Get this, get this garlic together. Hello, Hattie McBride from Tampa, Florida. Thank you for joining. Thea Copeland. Um, right. Martha Harvey Lewis. Hello. Okay, got that going. Mm -hmm. Hello, um, Yolanda Sanchez. I made it. I made it. Love this show. He is very informative. Informative. Yes, got that's the, the word. Going. celery okay hello Pamela Hargrove from st. Louis Gary Craig so are you looking for the pink color when it's out of the shell yes and I'm kind of the, I, I'm looking at the uh, at the end of the lobster like from uh, at the front part to make sure it's not translucent okay. it needs to be kind of white on the inside and orange, of course. Of course, if you notice, it was already kind of that red color, mm -hmm. even at a raw state. So I'm making sure it's not, it's going to be a little, it's going to be white throughout. And not translucent. So, got some celery, some onion. And garlic. And garlic. Thank you for the stars, Pam Williams. Hello, Karen Joseph from te Dallas, Texas. That should be enough. Got the skillet on. Put a little oil in there. Hello, Bishop Ronnie Adams. Just a little bit to get it going. Burn the handle of my... Pick up the pieces. All right, we're going to saute some vegetables and get this sauce going. I'm excited for the finishing of this dish that came to Kip by spirit, by way of spirit. <laughs> All right. I'm going with my onions and celery first. Yes, uh, Bishop Ronnie Adams. He's he's throwing down with the new dish, lobster Napoleon. Okay, got that going in. All right, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. I'm just poaching a little bit. I'm gonna add just a little bit of tarragon to that. And that's just flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm, that smell. Ooh, that smell, yes. The poaching liquid smells good anyway, but the tarragon is taking it to a new level. Y'all, in case anybody is wondering, I still can't flip no food around in no pan without <laughs> making no mess. Right. I leave that, that to the going. chef. <laughs> tarragon. T E R R O. T A. T A R R O. G O N. G O N. That's for Brother Andrew Baker. He said, Tara, who? <laughs> <laughs> tarragon. <laughs> tarragon. For Drew, it's Tarragon. Tar <laughs> Day. Don't get him started. Don't get him started. 
I missed it. What is the sauce the lobster is in? It's just butter it's, it's, and it's water. A, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a poaching liquid of a uh, emulsification of butter and water. Mm hmm. Okay, so we get the, uh, <laughs> the aromatics going. And they are going. And then we're going to get this garlic in there with it. So garlic, celery. Thank you, Armita McBride. Happy Valentine's to you as well. Thank you so much. He said, oh, like a pecan. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> no, like a pecan. What? That's it. I should All say right. pecan. You mean pecan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we got these going. <laughs> Lots of poaching. Ever so gently. I'm going to get ready to pull this out in a second. What I'm going to do is. Slide behind, honey. Okay. I need my. I need to check the internal temperature. Okay. Thrifty, handy thrifty thermometer. And what should it be? One forty-five. One forty-five. Mm -hmm. Not internal. quite there yet. Okay. Not quite there, and that's part of it—the slow cooking process. About 118, 120. Okay. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Just take it slow. No rush. Mm -hmm. Hello, yeah. Renee. Gary Craig said, ooh, that looks good. Hello, yeah. Gilmore. We get this going. Get it sweated down a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little flour. I got, and uh, y'all yeah, might say, ooh, what we good? We're going with this in a minute because I'm going to add some flour. Um, a little cream cheese, uh, lemon juice, mm. some of the the uh, poaching butter liquid, mm -hmm. liquid and uh, chop up some tarragon that's going back into it, and we're gonna finish with some tomatoes as well. All right, um, Tony said this one is good for the cookbook because he's got to try it. Um, Belinda Lee says Happy Valentine, Susu Lindsay. Okay. I mean, not butter. Flour. Flour. Yeah. Where did I put it? There it is. Gary Craig says, Kip, when you do the pork belly, give a heads up. I'm going to try to cook it with you. For we'll sure, do my that, brother. brother. For sure. <laughs> Count on it. I got you. Okay. A tablespoon and a half of flour. Okay. Work that down in there. So this is kind of like a roux. You starting with a flour? Mm-hmm. come with that butter in a minute but hello Valerie Hardiman from Las Vegas thank you for joining us we're doing a lobster Napoleon he's doing a base for some sauce a cream sauce right now that's correct I'm still a little bit of that poaching liquid it, you can't steal it if it's yours no, you're right say it again you can't steal it <laughs> if it's yours mm, you <laughs> thank that? you Tony yes god that smells good it when smells I that. awesome Ooh, woo! Lord, today. Lord, today. Tony says, Happy Valentine's. Thank you so much, Mr. Figueroa. Okay. The sauce is just butter and water. It's a poaching li liquid. The method he's using to cook the lobster tails is poaching. And he's poaching it in the butter that was uh, emulsified with the water. And he's adding some Chardonnay to the um, sauce. Susu Lindsay says she's going to make this one. Give it a try. Okay. Okay. Come in where I want it. All right. Okay. So I got that in. Add a little bit of this poaching liquid in. I'm going to tell you what else would be good with this. Um, not because, I, like I said, I kind of, this is kind of like a, to what it thought I had about putting this together, this recipe. Brandy or cognac? We go well. We go well with this. Okay. Trust me. Uh, as far as going cooking in the, the sauce. Yes. Okay. Um, I've used brandy or cognac in dishes before. What was that, babe? That was cream cheese. Cream cheese. Okay. All right. Gary Craig said the first time I tasted lobster, I stood up and sang. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
right. Heard that. Hello, Cheryl Smith. Okay, so that's cooking down. And that, that cheese is going to melt down. And while that's doing that, I'm going to chop, put some lemon in, some lemon juice, and some, uh, chop up a little bit more terrier. Okay. Now, this is a cream sauce that he's going to layer the lobster um, with the puff pastry. And then that's that's why we'll have the Napoleon. Hello, Cynthia Castle from Lufkin, Texas. Get that melted down. Actually, I'll wait for a moment. Add a little bit more of this thing. And he's just adding in the poaching liquid. Poaching liquid the butter. The, I want to say butter water, but it's that's what it <laughs> is. <laughs> Gwendolyn Richardson, you should have had some shrimps in there to all that good butter. <laughs> Tracy Jones, hello, y'all. That looks good. Thank you. Andrew Baker, poaching. Oh, I thought you said something else. It's late Friday. You know who that is. That's Drew. <laughs> That's my brother, yeah? Yes. He's keeping us entertained. Hello, Cousin Beverly Johnson. You may have used it all, babe. Gail Moore, Ty, I was looking at you guys talking about what Chef was cooking, the strawberries and the shrimp ceviche. I thought you guys were live because it said you guys were on. And then a pop-up again saying you couldn't wait. You guys were on live. I need to stop drinking this Moscato because you couldn't tell me I wasn't into my conversation. Sis, you are not alone. That happens quite often. Um, people say, why you didn't say my name? Why you didn't speak? Uh, and they're watching the replay. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more liquid to it. I'm going to add a little bit from these lobsters mm -hmm. that was just kind of brewing back then in the back. Okay. And this is to the cream sauce. He added cream cheese. Stir this up and bring it together. So this is a savory, savory Napoleon. You can have a sweet Napoleon um, with berries and a, a sweet cream. Okay. But we're doing this, this with together. lobster tails. And I'm getting ready to bring those lobsters out in just a second. Mm. Use my whisk for a minute to whip that together. Hello, Chantel. Thank you so much, sis, for joining. Andrew say yes, black butter water. <laughs> you feel on that one, huh? Feel on that one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put a little lemon juice in it. Okay. Not much. And now I'm getting ready to pour the lobster out. You want to turn it down? What's that? Or that cream sauce? Down. Yeah, All right, good. Okay. Pour the lobster out. Melody Harding, I don't eat lobster, but it sure looks good. Thank you. Okay. Hey, All Yvonne right. Hicks sauce Anderson. Coming together. Look at that All cream right. sauce, y'all. I'm excited. Turn it down. <laughs> Gary Craig said, ooh, wee. Okay. So we're going to get a little bit of uh, tarragon in there. Or some more flavor. We already have some in the butter, but we want, I want a little color. And we're going to start to put this together. Thank you for hanging out and being... Patient, patient with as this. this comes together. Oh, Gwendolyn Richardson. I won't make it the last time. Tony Figueroa said, Kip got some serious cooking skills. I think he does. Tracy Jones is sipping on some Woodbridge Merlot. I think that's your, that's your wine, sis. <laughs> okay. A little tarragon in there for flavor. Just a little bit more. Because you already got some flavor with that butter. I'm going to add a little bit more because I want a little color with that. Tammy says looks delicious. Okay. Coming together. And I want it thick like this because of how I'm going to layer, layer it and put mm -hmm. it together. Okay. Clean it up now, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Turn that off. Your broth in the back is still on. You want it on? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Let me yes, here. Tracy Jones. <laughs> Um, Cheryl Smith, do y'all have any Valentine's plans? We're going to lay low yeah, and stay are. warm. <laughs> we're stay home. Got some work to do tomorrow. Yes. And then uh, Sunday, we're going to hang around and 
She gonna love on me, and I'm gonna love on her. All right now, that? all right now. Yeah. So we're gonna cut up a little tomato. I'm gonna put tomato in, kind of like at the last moment. Cause I'm gonna keep the sauce the color that it is. I just want the tomato in for a little texture and a little color and flavor. But I'm gonna taste this sauce in a minute. See what I need to add to it. I need some more salt. Gail Moore brought up the story about me wasting wine on your shirt. Oh, she did? Yeah. <laughs> and you looked at me and said, don't worry about it, and then got in the car and cussed bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he cussed bad, sis. <laughs> Marcia you McCombs. Did, you, did, you, you didn't know that, little baby. No, until after the fact. <laughs> I looked at my sweater and was like, God, dog. <laughs> so I'm going to taste that. Okay. Hello, Marcia McCombs. Let's see where we're at with it. From New Jersey. Cream sauce looks delicious. So. Need salt? Mm hmm That's all it needs. Andrew said, uh, my favorite cook couple cooking show, Kip and Ty, should be worldwide. Happy Valentine's Day, my friend. Thank you. Right. Love the cooking in real time. Yes, he working. Sometimes I said, babe, don't overwork it tonight. He have all these different components, but he brings it together really well. Just a tad bit more. I didn't really add any salt in it at all mm -hmm. because I wasn't sure how much that butter was going to oversalt it. Michelle Perez drinking Budweiser. Shirley Turner said looks delicious. All right. So we're coming together. So here's what I want to do right now. Mm. Get my, watch my other cutting board. Okay. I'm coming right back because we're going to cut this lobster up. I'm ready to cut the lobster. Thea Copeland says she made mom's salmon croquettes um, with her twist today for ten, for dinner, and they were so good. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> That's what we love to hear. That the sharing and the stuff that we're sharing that, uh, is working. Working. Y'all testing it out. And it's being tested and used. They're performing. I like to see Kip and Chef Carmen cook together. Well, that'd be cool. That may happen one day. Huh? That may happen. Okay, let's get that there. Okay, let's get the box. Hello, Lily Singleton and Baker. I'm just cut it in little medallions. And as you can see, it's not opaque. It's good and white in the middle. It's good enough to eat to me. <laughs> Thank you for uh, watching us, Lily, from California. I'm just Tammy say white pepper, baby. <laughs> she on it, huh? She on it. Yeah. Stay on them, sis. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just cutting some little dahlias. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby, I'm going to give you this little piece right here. Oh, baby. You taste it and tell me what you think about it. Oh, it must not be good. I can't even talk. The butter sauce. It's like you dipped it in the drawn butter. Yeah. OMG, it is delicious. That's what I wanted. I had a moment, y'all. <laughs> you had a moment? <laughs> <laughs> that is delicious. You killed it. This is his first time trying this recipe. So, I'm loving it. I, I don't think I can eat lobster any other way now, babe. All right, so I got the lobster meat. Be careful. I am. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What you going to do? I'm Move gonna this? I'm going to dismantle this little okay. bread station. How about that? That'll work. And then we'll do it right over here. Okay. We'll wash up right quick. You'll be hooked. We are here every week. Dr. Kimberly Johnson, thank you for joining. Gary Quag, is it like a bechamel? Kind of, kind of like a bechamel. You're so correct. The cream cheese... Give us a, a twist. Okay. Um, I haven't tasted the sauce yet, but that lobster is everything. Not everything, but everything. Like that, baby. Yes. Sharon mm. Moss, you make a mess with my mama not when mama not there. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. right. Mom be constantly cleaning. <laughs> yes, she does. Hello, Vonda Anderson Pruitt. Hello, I cooked that chili last weekend and baby, it was good. Y'all are the best. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to pull the lobster over here. Gail Moore says, why do some people use iodine salt? What's the difference in the kosher salt, I'm assuming? Um, the kosher salt is, is the one that... Iodine, actually, is some, it's good for you. I mean, mm -hmm. it has some benefits to it. But the, the kosher salt is 
I guess on. What I should say? I'm trying to. I want to say healthier, but I don't even know if it's that. It's, it's, it's more. The texture of it, uh, to me, when I use kosher salt versus regular regular iodine salt, it takes a uh, longer. To me, it goes the kosher salt goes a lot a lot farther. Farther, yes. So that's my main reason for using. I like the when I add it to something, it just <laughs> it, it hangs right and does everything I need as far as flavor. Okay, we're gonna get started. Leola, Canada. I was born on an island and we grew up on fresh seafood, but my grandmother never cooked lobster because my grandfather didn't catch them when he went fishing. But after I got up around, got ground, grown up, I tasted lobster, so I will try this recipe. That is one of the sauce one more time for plate. Puff pastry make sure, rounds. Make sure I'm there where I want to be. Okay, so that's one of the Happy Valentine's, hey, Tracy hi. Jones. It's good, babe. Yes, I am. And he's adding some chopped tomatoes in this cream know. sauce. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Lobster Napoleon in the making. Okay. Just a little bit of that. Chives. We can garnish it with that. I'm loving the colors, babe. You like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Marilyn Ross, looking delicious. Enjoy being with you guys on Wednesday. Thank y'all for joining. Okay, we're making it. Tony hungry. <laughs> yeah, he said we're making him hungry. Thank you for the stars, Delvin Sparrow. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to put a little bit of the sauce. So we're building the Napoleon now. On the bottom. And the reason why I'm putting it on the bottom, why am I doing that, baby? So they won't move. So they don't move. Yeah. <laughs> That's your glue. Yeah. That's when, you're pre when you're plating for presentation. Okay. All right. Evelyn Brown, I would love to see Chef Carmen and Kip cook together. Now that, I know that is delicious. So we're going to put a little bit of sauce on. Hello, Tierra Acreage. Katrina Riley says he's professional. Uh, Drew said, um, the kosher salt is better for you. Iodine doesn't digest as easy. Okay. Yeah. So it is better. Mm-hmm. Okay, so some of the sauce. Lobster. And what? And then we put another little. Another layer. Yeah, we're gonna put a little more sauce on there. Mm -hmm. the glue to the to the house. <laughs> glue to the house. So in the beginning, he categorized this as a starter. Um, of course, I'm putting two on this plate. <laughs> Cause, cause we're because we out on a date, baby. We, we out on the date. Because if one I just put you. one, if it was on a date. It'll be a problem. Be like, whoa, baby, I won't. That's not enough. Or you could just watch me eat both of them. I wouldn't do that, baby. You wouldn't do that to me? No. Lord, look at that lobster. Lobster Napoleon. Chef Kip style. Denise Williams says she made the mashed potatoes last Saturday. They were delicious. Okay. Hi, Florence Gibbs. Hello, Selena Green. Just a little bit on there. Mm. Yeah. Put another one on. So it's like a garlicky lobster biscuit. <laughs> Let me go ahead and drape that on top of it. All right now. And the tomatoes add a great color, um, matching with the lobster. So it pops it out. There we go. Good there. Tammy said it's salt sprayed with potassium. Howard McNeil, Kip, how about some southern goulash next? Hey, Chanel King. Hey, right. sis. So we're going to put a little bit of lobster on top. That's a lot of lobster left. Yeah. Hey, we're going to eat on that, baby. Mm -hmm. Lola's going to want some. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to slide around on me. Okay. All right. You better get a picture, babe. <laughs> Lobster Napoleon. Chef Kip style. Hello, Carolyn Cunningham. The flavor of kosher salt is more robust and it doesn't contain the caking agents. All right. Y'all schooling us. Thank you. Looks delicious. We got a little of that. 
Thank you, Tiara, Florence Gibbs, Yummy, Tony Figueroa, Ty, what, uh, what is your lineup during the week? I know Wednesday wind down and Friday after dark. What else? We come on Saturdays, cooking with Kip at 5. Usually right. it's 5. We try to make it 5 o'clock. <laughs> Let me add a little bit of what? Caviar. Gary Craig said he's leaving Detroit now. Brother, be careful. I think you in some snow. <laughs> come on down. Darlene George says, OMG, Gwen Slaughter Pounds. <laughs> Stephanie Harmon got me licking. <laughs> Woo, Lord. Hello, beautiful people, Gwen Slaughter Pounds. And there we go. Caviar. We missed that part. I was running my mouth. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. Looks like there a nice go. Valentine's dish. Napoleon for, for Valentine's. My first, you know, time making it. I kind of cleaned it up. <laughs> Tammy said this is a setup. <laughs> That's what she said it's a setup. I don't know. <laughs> you, I, I could imagine why. They love the presentation, baby. It looks good. Um, I was playing music with it. Okay. Um. Yum, my mouth is watering. This lobster Napoleon looks awesome. Thank you, Kips. Pretty wife. My nickname was Lola growing up, which is your daughter's really? real name. That's Leola Canada. Okay. Yes, and it's my mom's name, too. I named my mom, my daughter after my mom, Lola. Thank you for watching. Andrew said I have to come up and enjoy this delicious food. Come on, brother. <laughs> Thank you for the stars, Mona Bird song. Just Tina, that looks too good to eat, to tear apart. I know that's right, but I'm going to do it, sis. <laughs> Darren Sparrow said, wow. Let's add a little bit more lobster, just because we can. Just huh? because, just throw it on the plate, yeah, babe. Because I'm going to stop it up with some of that cream yeah, sauce. <laughs> just because we can, we're going to put it on there. You know, we bought it to eat it. That's right. Chanel King said, looks delicious. Good job. This is a work of art. Yes. Take one more picture. Then we're going to taste this thing. All right. Yeah. If it don't taste good, it yeah, can look all they want to, but if it don't taste good. Um, the caviar just set it off on the left, y'all. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for all the flavors. Got it. Okay. Got it? Yeah. So let's taste this. Let's taste it, babe. Pass my phone. All right, y'all. He's about to like, taste it. All this, all this prettiness, and I'm getting ready to tear it down. I'm getting ready to deconstruct this thing. It's all right with me. I'm gonna deconstruct. I like the way it cook. I like the way it cut up. I'm getting ready to take it back, baby. Turn that on for me. That's a four to five dollar plate. This is like, um, <laughs> what you call it? What's that what? word? Bliss. Bliss. <laughs> you did that. Florine Grady said that's a four to five dollar plate. Um, Leo Leola Canada, I got to fix me some blackberry manish wits after seeing this. I'm not sure. Uh, we will save you some, sis. We gonna cook yours fresh. You and my brother. We might have to do this. His with chicken though. <laughs> Guys, I think that's probably when I think about some of the dishes I've cooked for you, baby. Yes. Over years, I try to create on Valentine's Day or something. Well, Valentine's was always tough. Sometimes your birthday. Yes. Uh, before Lola. Mm -hmm. <laughs> create some, some romantic dishes. And I think this is one of those where we were, I was able to capture that. You know, lobster Napoleon. And, uh, Hope you enjoy it. We're going to share this with you. I'll definitely share the recipe. And you know it's going to be in the book. It's going to be in the book. <laughs> you know, cooking with Kip after dark. Some food. Conversation. Working hard tonight. So yes. So have the conversation. Yes, babe, you were. But in the midst of all the conversation, I always capture the cocktail. <laughs> hey, it's been fun. I want you guys to have a happy Valentine's Day. Tomorrow, I might peep in on you for a moment, but one of our guests that was on tonight, yes. Melvin and Tamika Sparrow, they're celebrating 30 years of, of marriage. marriage bliss. So we're traveling 
out of state yeah. to hang out with them. Well, yeah. not really hang out with them. We're, we're working cooking. for them. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing a wonderful dinner for them and their families. We'll tonight. make it special. Charleston. And you know what? You too can get the same thing. You just call us and we'll make a way. <laughs> just get us there. How about that? <laughs> well, more than just get us there. <laughs> it costs a few dollars. <laughs> just Thank a few. you so much. Cook with Kip After Dark. Me, Ty. Lola's hanging around just she waiting. Plate she waiting to stuff. put a finger on a lobster. Guys, and uh, we see. Have a happy Valentine. Put a smile on your sweetheart's face. We love you. Have a good night. Take care. Good night, y'all. Thank y'all for joining.